Hey YouTube, this is Miss Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I install a curly crochet braid. But I decided that I wanted to curl my own hair. Today I will be using the pre-stretched Easy Braid Professional by Spectra. The color is T1B Red. First I tied a string around a chair and I looped the hair onto the string. A coffee maker to set the curls what I do is after I curl the hair onto the rod I percolate the water and then I sit the rods inside the coffee pot to let them set I only use one pack of this hair. Um, I took it straight off the pack and I rotted it, dipped it, and curled it. Then after it comes off the rod, I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to separate it into more pieces. This one pack of hair acted as if it was two or three packs because of this method so I only paid about a dollar and fifty cent for this pack at my local beauty supply so pretty much this is a dollar and fifty cent hairstyle well if you include the piece of net that I have and the crochet needle so it's probably about a five dollar <clears throat> five dollar hairstyle um, including the rods the rods were a dollar so it costs roughly about five dollars for me to complete this hairstyle here I am taking down the first set of rods and I just love the way it turned out it's very curly very shiny and this is actually dry yeah this is dry so I'm going to continue taking out the rest of them so that I can get started installing this crochet again the materials I have to create the style is a string perm rods one pack of braiding hair a piece of lace scissors sewing string, a sewing needle, and a crochet hook. Now that I have the hair nice and uncurled, I'm going to start installing it. I found a piece of net or lace in my arts and craft box finally, so I'm going to be sewing that down onto my scalp where my thin spots are which is pretty much at the top plus this protects um, how much weight is at the top of my scalp and I want to avoid as much weight as possible so I'm going to sew this down and then I'm going to start installing the crochet I ended up with about 21 rotted pieces of hair to separate so that is a good amount of hair to me to work with so 21 pieces of hair out of one pack that I'm going to be cutting in half and splitting even to four to six pieces to install at first I was struggling with the lace so what I decided to do to help me stabilize it is stick some bobby pins in it to help it keep still you know you know how you stick pins in a mannequin to help to help not to help your you know to help it from moving to help your stocking from moving to help your lace from moving so i had to improvise i said okay i'm gonna get some bobby pins 
and I'm gonna stick them down here so that this lace will not move and it worked out great for me Great, now that I've got that down, I'm going to show you how I cut the hair. I cut the top of it where I had looped it around the string. I cut that completely off because I don't like the curl pattern that came out with it. So I'm going to cut that whole piece off. And I'm also going to cut the end, the tip, where the red is to prevent from any knots. I'm going to apply some mousse after I pull it apart because I want to keep down the frizz as much as possible. So here I am splitting it with the mousse, rubbing the curl back into the hair to prevent, you know, as much frizz. Here I have installed some so far, it is going great. I am loving the way that this hair is feeling and I'm loving the max coverage that it is giving me um, with the net, with the purple lace that I have. So I'm gonna continue filling in the net with the lace and then I will show you the rest on how I fill up the sides. Remind you, this is only one pack of hair that I'm doing it with, so keep that in mind that this is only one pack of hair. I'm not gonna talk too much more after this. Pretty much I'm just gonna finish filling in all the empty spaces as I see fit with this one pack of hair. If I can do it with one pack, anyone else can do it with one pack of hair. This is a cheap, fast hairstyle for me on the go. So I just recommend that you try this hairstyle as well. So I'm going to come back in um, for the final results. I'm just gonna finish plugging in the crochet and I'll see you at the end of the video.
I am finished installing the one pack. This is the back of my hair. This is how much I was able to fill in. The top will cover this, so don't worry. No one sees really sees the back of your head anyway. The top really matters the most. But this is how far I got with one pack of hair. If I had one more pack of hair, it would be really, really full. So yeah, this is the takedown and this is the end result. I am loving the coverage. I am loving how lightweight it is. I was actually surprised at how much coverage I was able to get with this one pack of hair that I rotted and crocheted in. So I'm super excited. Yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is Miss Lisa. If you decide to try out this method, let me know. Give me a shout out. Miss Lisa. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright YouTube, give me love. Bye bye.